Hi. Well, now we've had um, Christmas is all finished, so I can't make any more Christmas decorations. So uh, and Christmas Day is all uh, all finished. So um, I'm looking for something to do now. Getting slightly bored because I'm not at work at the moment. Um, so yeah, so I've um, well, I was doing the Christmas shopping and everything. I saw a lot of lovely peacocks in windows, and peacocks are my favourite thing. I'd already bought these um, sort of artificial peacock feathers. Um, <clears throat> got these from Home Bargain actually. They had different colours, but I like the turquoise ones. I think they had them in um, black or silver, all this sort of lovely colour. Um, so I had bought a few of those and I'm not entirely sure what I wanted to do with them. But um, but now I know I'm going to have a go at making my own paper mache peacock. Because um, when I looked in the window at some of them, they were quite pricey. So I thought, well, actually, it was my friend that was going, oh, you could make one of those. And I was looking at it and thought, mm, you know what, I might, might give it a go. Might be absolutely horrendous because I've never done anything like this before. I do like a bit of paper mache, but normally it's masks and things. I've never uh, gone as far as this. So I thought, well, I'd give it a go and um, show you how I get on. So obviously this is going to take quite a while to do. So I'm not going to do it all in one go. So I will do different instalments about mm, once a week or whatever as I um, progress. So um, I have found a picture. Do I find that? with all this it's all um, a little glitter everywhere thing so I don't know whether you can actually see this or not I might put it up after but you can see that so that's a sort of thing I'm gonna go for um, it's probably won't look at anything like that but that's that's what I'm aiming for something like that um, so yeah I've got um, so to start off with what I'm gonna do is the first first bit of it will be um, making the body obviously so for that I'm going to use chicken wire my husband has just got that out of the garden for me because we did have I started in lockdown doing a bit of a, a vegetable patch so obviously it's all it's all dug up now so um, yeah I'm not that brilliant at, um, at gardening I'll stick to my crafts the carrots sort of came out and they were only about that big but never mind <laughs> um my lettuces were all right might do them again next year so obviously i've um i've nicked that um so yeah so i will do the body and the neck and the head out of that um i'm quite lucky i've got a son that's into welding so he's made me a sort of a stand to put it on because otherwise um it's going to make it more sturdy but i was thinking if you haven't got a son or a husband or anybody that can do welding you could just do um, like, you know, um, a wooden stand, like a square sort of block hole in it and then just sort of um, put a bit of dowling in it and glue it for something firm. So, um, so yeah, but I've, I've got this. So, um, so that's going to be the, the, the base. And then obviously I can put things around the bottom of it to make it look like it's sat on a log or something, something like that. I haven't quite thought that far, but anyway, that's my base. I have got that far. Um, so yeah, so with that I'm going to put the chicken wire around it and turn it into the, the body uh, and the head. Um, and then obviously I'm going to use these as the tail feathers. And I've also somewhere I've got um, real um, peacock feathers to add to it as well. Um, obviously that's much further down the line. So the, after I've um, made the body and everything out of the chicken wire, I'm going to paper mash over the top of it to make it a bit smoother and stronger. Um, and then I'm going to, I don't know, I might paper mache in coloured um, paper, sort of the body bit, that lovely blue sort of colour. It's either going to be paper mache or I might put um, fabric on it. So um, for, for that sort of thing. So, but like I said, I haven't actually got that far. I just want to make the body and the shape first and then I'll stick the the feathers on after so yeah so the first part that i will be doing and hopefully i will show you in this video a bit later on is um, what it looks like when i've finished the actual just making the body shape out of the um the chicken wire so yeah so i've got the chicken wire and obviously i've got some a sturdy uh clippers um for cutting it <laughs> <laughs> and sort of rolling it up and sort of making just the basic shape to start off with and sticking it on here as well so that's what I'm going to be doing to um to start off with so yeah so hopefully I will be back in a short while well shortish while um and show you what the actual frame looks like and then 
so this will be part one part two will be one of paper mache so you can actually see it sort of coming together a little bit so um so yeah so that's what i'm going to be doing for this part of christmas so i hope i'll see you again in a minute when i've got the bobby bit by okay see you in a bit hello right i've uh, finished doing uh, my uh, outline of the um the peacock in um in the chicken wire so i've just sort of like bent it and shaped it round got my uh, stem here um yeah so i've just i've sort of like bent it like that one the, the neck and the head i've just sort of rolled it up tight and then sort of bent it and then i put it through the um, the stand sort of up through it a bit and i have used a tiny little bit of hot glue gun on the top just to hold it to stop it slipping down and a bit on the bottom as well hopefully once it's all um paper mashed i can sort of fix it again at the bottom so they can stop it slipping down but that's pretty sturdy at the moment yeah and then i've just sort of like got it in bent you know in small pieces i didn't use great big bits of um of the chicken wire so it's like i've used a small bit to go round the front bit there and so you can see it's um i've sort of shaped it and turned it under and then sort of to get the bit of the, the back, I can see it's like a bit denser. I've sort of like layered it up and rolled it and pushed it down and layered it up. And then sort of like to fix it together, I've used the um, the florist wire. If you can sort of see that. Yeah, like this florist wire just to tie it to keep it secure. So like I said, I've just sort of layered the back up to get a bit of an arch. I can do a bit more, obviously, with the paper mache as well. And I've got like a little bit of a tail bit. So just like a little bit here. So because eventually I need to put the um, the peacock feathers for the tail on there. So I can sort of push them up there and secure it. And then this bit will be paper mache. So it'll flop down over the top. So you can't see all the, the messy bits. So I've got like a sort of a, let's see. So a bit of, bit of a, a flap going on there i can obviously trim it up a bit shorter if i need to as well so um yeah that was um it's a bit it's you have to be a little bit, a little bit careful because it's um it's a bit sharp um but it does bend quite nicely so you can sort of bend it and poke it in so secure it but like i said i used a bit of the wire as well yeah and i'll just just to stop it dropping down so yeah so that's the um the shape I've got, which is looking a little bit swan-like, but hopefully you know, once I've got uh, the paper mache and the tails on, it'll look a little bit more like, like a peacock, I'm hoping. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so I'm quite pleased with that so far, because um, this is all trial and error, because I have not done any of this before. This is just one of these uh, things that I get in my head and think, oh, I'll go doing that. Or, as I said, my friends go in, you can make one of those yourself. So, uh, yeah. This is a stop me getting bored over Christmas anyway, so we'll see how it turns out. So this is sort of uh, part one. Um, part two will be um, me paper mache in it, how I start doing that um, and building up a bit more of a, <clears throat> a shape to it where it needs to be, like a beak, right? Because at the moment it hasn't actually got a beak, but I'll do that with the paper mache. So, um, so that's how I've got on so far. So uh, I look forward to seeing you in part two. Okay, bye.